good afternoon to all of you today i deliver lecture on the topic live flyization live this topic contain the following points introduction principle process of live flyization basic design of instrument equipments live protectant application advantage and disadvantage introduction live flyization is also known as freeze drying in this process the water extracted from food and other products it is the dehydrating process used to preserve perishing material it's make the material more convenient to transport and store at room temperature means for the transporting of material it is must be needed principle life flyization is based on a principle of physics called sublimation sublimation is the conversion between solid and gaseous phase of matter with no intermediate liquid stages the process of live flyization consists of sublimation ice changer is directly to a vapor under vacuum process of live flyization the process of live flyization contains the following steps freezing primary drying and secondary drying this is the mechanical component of freeze dryer or live flyzer freezing in this process first we take wet materials and placing the material in a free drying flask after that linked with vacuum chamber cooled it by mechanical refrigerator drying or nitrogen or liquid nitroglycerin at that time also maintain the pressure and temperature about minus 60 degree centigrade to minus 80 degree centigrade at the end of this freezing process ice crystal are formed next primary drying primary drying process is also known as sublimation in this process pressure is low and sufficient heat supply to the material for water sublimation condenser is linked with a vacuum chamber and at that time the temperature is minus 50 degree centigrade and water vapor also re solidify at the end of this process 95% water is sublimated from the material next secondary drawing in the secondary drawing or remove unfrozen water molecules the temperature is higher than the primary drying above 0 degree centigrade or 32 degree fahrenheit pressure is also low in this time dry material is connect, collected into condenser after freeze drying sample is removed from the instrument or equipment at the end or last of the process the water content is low about 1 to 4% basic design of the instrument or live flyization live flyzer the live flyization chamber the self condenser chamber vacuum pumping system sensor and control system this is the description of basic designs first we take live flyization chamber to provide safe environment for the product during the entire live flyization process and to provide the necessary temperature and pressure to conduct each step of the live flyization process the self act as a heat exchanger removing energy from the product during freezing and supplying energy to the product during of primary and secondary drying segments of the freeze drying cycle the main function of condenser chamber is to house the condenser surface for the removal of water vapor from the gases that pass from the drying chamber the vacuum pumping system in conjunction with the condenser system provide the necessary pressure for conducting the primary and secondary drying process equipment there are two types of equipments first manifold freeze dryer and second tray freeze dryer this is the diagram of manifold freeze dryer or this is the also picture of tray freeze dryer next live protectant 
lye protectant are substance which we can added in this process to prevent damages sucrose and thiallose are natural lye protectant polyhydroxy compound and such sugars are also used as lye protectant applications of lyophilization lyophilization is used in pharmaceutical companies to increase the shelf life of products such as vaccines and other injectable materials by removing the water from the material and filling the material in vial can be easily stirred and sifted food industry instead coffee is often dried by vaporization in a hot air flow or by project onto hot metabolic plate and in technical industries some chemical synthesis products are often dry to make them more stable or easier to dissolve in water to subsequent use advantages there are following advantages lyophilized substances may be stored at room temperature and their nutritional content generally remain unchanged freeze dried product can be rehydrated increase the shelf life of some products and minimum damage there are some disadvantage also the restricted they are restricted to delicate and heat sensitive material and it's take long processing time and also it cost is high in compared to other process thank you